This program is suitable for most people, however it should not replace a supervised exercise program. Please consult your local doctor before commencing an exercise program, especially if you have one or more of the following. Have had joint surgery, any medical condition affecting your heart, lungs or blood pressure, joint inflammation, you have not been doing regular exercise. Stop exercising immediately if you experience one or more of the following. Chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, severe pain or discomfort in your joints. The producers and distributors disclaim any liability or loss, personal or otherwise, resulting from procedures in this program. It's Christy here. We are here for Move It or Lose It at the Port Melbourne Beach. As you can see, it's a bit of a drizzly day today. It's a bit windy, it's a bit chilly, but luckily together we are gonna get nice and warm by doing some mat work Pilates. We're gonna get into it today with some nice warm up, starting off with some head turns, looking from side to side. As we look from side to side, if you want to, you can close down those eyes. If it feels a bit dizzy, hold on to something close by and then we're gonna look up and down as well. And again, side to side. And up and down. From here, we're gonna keep that head, we're gonna hold it down. Take those hands onto either side of the neck and look up. And then take our ears from shoulder to shoulder. Sorry if you hear some cracks, I'm a bit cracky today. We'll warm up soon though. Some head rolls, take them around. And the other way. Let's do two more. And two, rolling those shoulders. Three and four, and then let's take forward. Four, three, two, one. Take it to the arms now if you want to. Big arm circles. Two, three, four, and forward. Four, three, two, one. Bringing the arm across the body. I'm gonna just take my hips and sway them side to side as I do this one as well. You could stay nice and still if you prefer to. And then other arm across. Grabbing our hands together, giving our wrists a little bit of a rock, interlacing those fingers. And then big waves with the hands. And see if you can go the other way with the waves. Matching the waves here down at this lovely beach. Oh, the sun is coming out for us. Palms forward and release. From here, we're gonna bend down into our knees Push our shoulder forward. Nice little pulses for two, three, and four. Other side, hold. And then nice pulses for two, three, and four. From here, coming forward down to the ground. Nice little stretch. If you don't have the ability to reach all the way down to the ground, you can have a footstool here or something that's close by or a bench hold on to and then bend those knees and roll it up standing into the center grabbing your leg again if you need to for balance hold on to something here we're just getting a nice stretch through the front of the thigh other side releasing out hip side to side and then this is the fun one hands onto the hips we're going to bend the knees and take hips forward and back Looks like a weird, funky dance move, but it's getting those hips nice and warm. We're gonna be doing some movements through our lower back later as well. So it's gonna help get into that area. Shake it all out. From here, we're gonna come all the way down to the ground. If you want to, you can add in a little roll as we come down, head leading all the way down to the ground. And then walk it forward, walk it back, down dog, pedaling out those feet. And then knees down to the ground, some cats and cows looking up and looking down, looking up, looking down. Breathing in as we look up, breathing out as we look down. Two, beautiful, release it out. Okay, that's our warm up. If you need to do any extra warm ups for yourself, 
please, please feel free to do so. Uh, but we're going to get into some Pilates movements now. We're going to be laying on our back for a little bit. If you do need to, pop a pillow under the head for a little bit of extra support. And I'm going to provide you with alternatives for all of our movements that we're doing as well. We're coming down onto our back now. Knees are staying bent, feet are flat on the floor. Our feet and our knees are hip width distance apart. We're starting off with our single leg slides. We're gonna take a big breath in, and as we exhale out, we're gonna point through the toe and slide our toe along the ground, extend, and then slowly bring it in. Now, I'm not just sloppily sliding my leg. I'm not just taking it out, not caring about how it's moving. As I said, the rest of my body, I'm trying to keep nice and still. And as my legs are moving, I am extending and pushing through them, almost like I'm trying to push something away with my toes. Exhale, extending and then inhale, slowly draw it back in. Let's do it again for another four, two on each side. Still breathing here. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the breathing in a moment. Final one on this side. Okay, now this is where we're gonna bring our breath into a little bit more. We're gonna do some inhales in as we create our movement out. So we're gonna take a big breath in. As we exhale, our knee's gonna come out to the side and then it's gonna slowly draw it back in. Take a big breath in and as we exhale, the other leg goes out to the side. These are called our bent knee fallouts. Now these are the ones we really wanna double check on our hips, make sure they're not dropping from side to side. The way we do this is to draw in through our tummy, press our belly button in towards the floor and almost hold through all of those muscles, kind of like we're holding on to a wee or jumping into some really cold water like here at the beach today. Exhale, take the knees out to the side. Inhale, draw it back in. Let's keep on going. Let's do another four, two on each side. Four is our lucky number today. I'm gonna keep saying four all the time now. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, draw it in. So our knees aren't plopping open and the rest of the hips are dropping. Our knees are slowly coming out to the side. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, slowly out. Inhale, draw it in. Okay, from here, our tummy is going to still do that inhale, draw in breath as we switch all of those muscles on. Core muscles aren't just the top washboard abs. We're gonna work through those side muscles and through our back muscles as well. That our core is our whole torso here working together. Remember that inhale in motion, we squeeze through those muscles like we're holding onto a wee or jumping into some really cold water. We're gonna start with some abdominal curls. Hands are coming behind the head. Elbows are out to the side. Our head isn't being lifted up by our hands here. We're gonna use those muscles that inhale Inhale, tighten those muscles, and then we, as we exhale, we lift, holding up through this area for our abdominal curls. Let's keep going. If anyone's head doesn't like this support through the hands, you can instead take the hands up high without the head supported by those hands. It will feel a little bit better through the neck, but it might not feel as supported. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower down. I'm gonna take my hands back behind my head, but as I said, you can stay there. These are our abdominal curl ones. Exhale, lift. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Let's do another five. I've changed our lucky number. It was four before, we're going one more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep going for another three. Exhale, two. And last one, as high as we can go, one. Well done, we're gonna give our neck and head a little bit of a rest for a moment. Hands are coming to our sides. We're instead now going to tuck our tailbone down. So my lower back, that has that little arch, we're pressing it down into the mat and we don't wanna lose that tuck if we can help it. We're gonna inhale, lift up one leg to a 90 degrees, bending through the knee, pointing through the toe, little ballerina feet. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Still got that nice tight midsection, like we're holding onto a wee or jumping into some super cold water. Exhale to lift. We got this. We're still breathing. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. We're squeezing through the legs and glutes if we can. Exhale to lift. And two. And final one. One. Awesome. Now we're going to add to it. We're going to exhale, lift, and then we're going to extend the toe, touch the sky, bring it down and lower. So four part movement, lift, extend, lower, lower. Let's keep going. Lift, extend, lower and lower. So these are called our lift and now an extend. Lift and extend. If your leg doesn't want to touch all the way to the sky, it can instead go on a diagonal. And if you want to make it a little bit more challenging for these final four with me, we're going to take our head off of the mat just like we did before. Lift, extend, lower, down. Keep going, lift, extend, lower, down. Two more, one. 
and two. We got this. Well done. Take a moment's rest. Hug those knees in towards the chest. And slowly releasing down. That was our little core blast. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Christy here again for Move It or Lose It at the Port Melbourne Beach. We've just come back from a short break after doing our core blast. We're now going to get into our side lying series. As I'm doing this series, there's a few arm positions that you can possibly be in, depending on what feels most comfortable for your neck and for your shoulder. So I'm going to show you all of those options now before we jump into it. And you can just chuck them into any of the exercises we're about to do. So option one, we're going to have our hand up overhead like so. We're using our forearm um, to extend forward and we're using our bicep and tricep sort of like a little pillow for the head. You can also bend the elbow underneath and instead cup your hand and actually use the hand as a little pillow for the head instead. If you need to, you can also grab a block or a small pillow. You can place that underneath the head and have the hand extending out in front and you can grab a few more if this size isn't right for you or even change the size of the block. And then our lucky last motion is to be upright on the elbow. You can place a little cushion under the elbow if needed. But if we're doing this one, I want you to double check that your spine isn't dripping forward. We want it to be extending, pushing up through the top of the rib cage. So we've got a nice straight diagonal line through the spine. Um, for any of these movements, this head, neck, shoulder, arm situation can happen. I'm going to be doing mine down uh, fully flat with my arm cupped underneath my head. For this sequence, we do the same things for the legs for all of us. So we're going to have our feet in line with our hips, in line with our back, almost like we're pressed up against a brick wall behind us. We're going to push those hips away so that they're stacked evenly. And if you need to, you can keep your hand on those hips to push them away as well. Taking a big breath in, we're going to press down through the toes, pointing through those toes as they sink into the floor. We're going to squeeze through this top glute and we're going to exhale open through those legs. These are called our clams. Clams down here at the beach today. Exhale open and closing on the inhale. Exhale open, inhale close. Keep going. We are squeezing through the feet. If you're not feeling it through the tops of the legs here, you might not be squeezing enough through those feet. Press them down into the mat. These are our clam ones. We're going to do another three. One. Two, keep going, you got this, and three. Now we're gonna take it to our clam one kick outs. We're gonna open, extend the leg, close and close. Keep going, open, extend, close and close. Four part movement, exhale and then inhale. So two parts for the exhale, two parts for the inhale. Exhale to open, extend, inhale to close and close. We got this for another three. Two, feeling that burn. And one, well done. From here, bring the legs down, give them a little smack, wake them up again. Tell them they're not done just yet. Lift those feet off the floor, they're pressing together. If you do need to, you can place a little pillow or a block underneath that as well. Taking a big breath in, exhale, open through the knees, inhale, close. These are called our clam twos. So they're like clam ones, but now our feet are off the floor. Same movement, open and closing through the knee. Same inhale, tightening through that midsection. And same exhale to open, inhale to close. We're gonna be feeling that burn now. We got this. We can breathe through it together. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Keep going, exhale, open, inhale, close for another five. I know I've upped the number this time. Three, two, and one. Well done, bring those legs down, give them a little smack. Taking it through our circles now. So our circles are gonna do that clam two motion where we open and extend the leg, but they're gonna stay up here. Keep this pointed toe, keep this extended leg. And we're gonna draw nice little circles through the toes from the hips. So not just the toes, making a little circle here. We are moving the whole leg, like there's crayons on those toes. Little circles too, like a, the size of a teacup saucer. We don't wanna hold in a plate. That's a little bit too much. Nice small circles. We're gonna do our breaths here for an even amount. There's no right or wrong for the breaths here. No inhale or exhale for ups or downs. It's just breathing. We got this four, three, two, one. Leg down, give it a smack. Well done. We're gonna swap to the other side. 
Now you can roll away and not face me anymore if you really want to, but if I were you, I would turn so we can still stare into each other's eyes through all of this pain together. Same arm movements as before are possible on this side, just adjust as you need to for whatever injuries or however your shoulder's feeling today. We're gonna have our feet pressing down through the ground, feet in line with hips, in line with back, like we're pressed up against a brick wall. Taking our hips and pushing them away so that they're stacked nice and evenly. From here, taking a big breath in, squeezing through that midsection, pressing down through the feet, open and close through those knees, clam one. These are like our bent knee fallouts we did at the very start of this lesson today. But we're now facing forward. We're gonna keep those hips facing forward too. We're not opening and extending them up, they are staying forward. Keep going. These are our clam ones, pressing down through those feet. Exhale to open, inhale to close. We got this for another three, two, and one. Take it to our clam one, kick outs, extend, bring it down extend, bring it down. If you're struggling to find those toes on the way back down, just double check that you're not doing a big cheerleader kick at the top here, we don't need that. We're just extending from the knee. Our thighs are staying put and our shin and calf and toes are extending from there. Exhale, extend, we got this for another four, three, keep going, breathing in, two, and last one. Give the legs a smack, good job. Second side always seems to go so much quicker. We already know what we're doing on this side. We're taking it to our clam twos, lifting those feet up, pressing them together. Exhale, open, inhale, close. We got this. It's gonna be starting to burn. Our muscles already get ready sooner because they know what they're doing. This side, we feel it. We're still breathing though. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Cam, clam twos, not cams. Exhale, open, inhale, two. Bring it down, give them a smack circles, taking it through our extended leg, holding it here. Nice little circles, little small circles, size of a teacup saucer, not the size of a dinner plate. We are breathing here. Say hi to the seagull. Lasso the seagull with your circles for another five, four, I'm counting slower, three, we got this, two, and one, closing those legs, give them a bit of a smack. Rolling onto your tummy, pushing yourself up and back into a child's pose. Hips are sinking back for those heels. Head and hands are reaching forward. Nice little stretch and release out here. Coming forward, we're gonna be doing some prone movements now. So uh, the prone movements we're doing uh, sort of up on all fours. Um, so we're gonna be resting on those hands a little bit. If you do need to, you can take those hands into fists instead. It just gives a little bit more support through the uh, wrists, or you can do them on the elbows instead as well. We're gonna be starting off with a little plank. I say little because we're gonna be starting on our knees. So our hands are coming down directly underneath our shoulders and our knees are wiggling back a little bit so that they're not directly underneath our hips. If we need to, we can drop forward a little bit. I want you to check on those shoulders. We're not dropping through the shoulders down towards the ground. We're pushing up and keeping them nice and strong and solid. From here, we're holding our plank. We're gonna dream of better days when we're not doing planks anymore. We're gonna take a nice big breath in Tighten through that midsection again, like we're jumping into cold water. Maybe we'll need to after this if we're getting a bit of a sweat on. Still holding this plank, we've got this. If you feel a bit shaky, it's okay. We can pretend that we are a boat on that rocky sea behind us. And if that doesn't distract you enough, then you can sing yourself a little sea shanty. I don't know one, so I'm sorry. I can't provide you with one today. We've got this though. We're gonna hold it for another 10, holding our plank. Five, four, keep going, three, two, and one. Push it back to child's pose again. Well done. Little release out. Come up, give those hands and wrists a little bit of a rock and roll around. After our little plank that we just did on our knees, we're gonna take a few moments break. We'll be back in just a moment. Grab yourself a drink while you can.
Welcome back from that short break. We have two exercises left and then we are going to be doing a nice little cool down together. So our last exercise we just did was our plank on our knees. We're gonna try our plank this time on our toes. Again, if you need to, you can pee on the elbows or you can take the hands into fists for some wrist support. So again, taking those hands forward, our shoulders are in line with those wrists. We are pushing up through the shoulder blades. We're not dropping down and we're trying to keep these elbows as straight as possible. This time now though, our toes are gonna to extend out through our legs. We're gonna find our footing and we're gonna press down through the toes. If you need to, you can bring those knees back down, but we're gonna try and hold this high plank along the high seas of the shoreline here at Port Melbourne. Am I making you laugh? Probably not, but that's okay. We're gonna hold this plank together. Nice, strong midsection. We can feel it shaking. We aren't gonna let ourselves flounder though. Another sea joke. We're gonna keep on going for another 10. Still breathing. Five, three, two, one. Bring those knees down. Well done, push it back. Okay, so we were strengthening through our midsection. We've done a little bit of movement now through our arm, shoulders and midsection again. We did our side length series through our side body and glutes. And we are now going to go through the fronts of the legs, back where we warmed up at the very start of class. To finish off, it's called our hinge. We're gonna start with our hands extending forward. Shoulders are dropping down away from those ears. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to let ourselves drop backwards through the hinge of our knees and then inhale, draw it forward. So as you can see, I'm coming backwards in a nice straight line, almost like I'm a tree that's being felled, not like I'm dropping back through my bottom and trying to touch down through here. Nice straight line, exhale, extend it back, inhale, draw it forward. You should feel it through these muscles here along the fronts of the legs. Exhale, take it back, inhale, bring it forward. Now, if this isn't enough of a challenge for you, if you wanna take it a little bit further, we can instead open out our hands as we go back and then inhale, bring it in. Now don't take them out too fast the first time you do it. You might be surprised at how much of a difference it makes. So take it slow, take it back in our hinge. Exhale, take it back through our hinge. We've still got this. And two, three, four, final two, five, Last one, taking it to six. Woo. Well done, give everything a little bit of a shake out. We're gonna get through a cool down now. Our first little lot of our cool down is a little lunge. We're gonna step forward with our foot. We're gonna extend forward, sinking down through the hip. If you need to have anything to hold on to, you can grab a block close by here. We're trying to get a nice stretch through that inside of the hip. Lifting it up. From here, stepping back just a little bit, so we're now got an even line from our knee to our hip, and we're gonna tuck our tailbone down. Hope you've had fun here with me today, maybe learnt a few extra tricks. And this cool down, we should always do a nice warm up and a nice cool down to make sure our body doesn't get too sore the next day. We're gonna swap sides. Stepping forward, starting with a nice lunge as we sink forward. Getting that nice little stretch having something to hold on to if you need. Stepping it back a little bit, so knees in line with hip and tucking down. Getting a little stretch on those areas we just worked through our hinge. Releasing out, stepping the feet back, taking our knees to either side of the mat, toes together. From here, we're just gonna release out our wrists and hands. So I call this making biscuits because it kind of looks like a kitty cat doing those little pory movements they do to get comfy. We're just moving our wrists around at all different sorts of angles. So move them at a speed and an angle that feels good for your wrists and fingers. If this movement at this speed doesn't feel good, adjust it for yourself. This is your exercise after all. From here, we're gonna sink it forward through the hands into a nice little child's pose. This time with our wide knees, our head is reaching down towards the ground, hands reaching forward, and our hips are trying to sink back towards the heels. Lifting up through the chest a little bit, taking our hands, sliding it through, nice little twist. Lifting it up, taking it to the other side, hand forward, other hand through, twist. 
lifting it up, this time walking the body upright to tabletop, knees are coming in, shoulders in line with the wrists, hips in line with those knees. Again, if you need to, hands can come into fists for a bit of comfort for those wrists. Big breath in, exhale, look down. These are our cats and cows. Inhale to look in, exhale to look down. Keep going. Exhale, look down. Final few. Inhale and exhale down. From here, we're going to take it to a downward facing dog. So tucking in those toes, lifting those knees off the ground, coming into a triangle shape with our bodies, pedaling out those feet. And then walking the feet upright, walking the hands back. We're in a nice little forward fold. We can go for a little sway. Bend the knees, slow roll up. As we come to the top here, we're gonna move our bout through our shoulders and head, just like we did at the start of class, starting off with our shoulders, shoulders rolling back. Hopefully they're feeling a lot more malleable after our exercise today. Shoulders rolling forward. Taking it through our arms, back. Nice big arm circles. And then forward. Just like we did at the start of class, grabbing our hands together, giving them a little rock. And then through the waves. Taking our waves in the other direction. Bit of a brain tease for that one. Hands forward. Release out, arm across the body. I'm gonna take my hips and just give them a little rock side to side as we do this one. Other side. Give yourself a big round of applause. Thank you very so much for joining me today for our Pilates here down at Port Melbourne Beach. Hopefully you had fun, hopefully you learned some new exercises and I'll see you again next time. Move it or lose it, here with Christy.